Let's take a look at the translation and dictating features that we can find inside of Microsoft Word. When you go to the Home tab, on the far right side, you'll see a Dictate microphone. When you click the drop down for that, you can choose the language that you would be speaking in. And I'm speaking in English from the United States, so I have that selected. Once I click on the microphone, now as soon as I start beginning to talk, it's going to be able to start dictating, period. This is an interesting example of how we're able to dictate into a Word document without having to type, period. Now you'll see my text is shown up here, which is actually extremely handy if you're going to be speaking. Now what we can do with this, we can actually translate this text if we would like. So I'm going to highlight this because I'm only going to be working with the selection. Then I go to the Review tab, I open it, and I open Translate. And I'm only going to translate the selection. I could translate an entire document also. Although I have found that the translating an entire document doesn't always work very accurately. So I prefer using the selection. So I click on it. A window opens on the right. And you'll see it says Translator. My original language is English. And that is usually automatically detected. But now when I click 2, I can choose the language I would like to translate to. And I scroll down and I will see that I have Spanish available for instance. So I click Spanish and you'll see that it automatically translates. Now it does let me know down on the bottom here too words that could be a little bit of a conflict. So it lets you even it even is doing like a spell check or a grammar check of the language that you're translating into. So let's say I'm going to leave this English up here. I click and I just hit my enter key and I would like to insert this Spanish into my document. I can click insert and now the Spanish translation has been put into my Word document. That's an extremely handy way of being able to use Word to be able to dictate and to be able to translate. Now, if you also have Read Aloud installed in Word, if I highlight this and I click Read Aloud with it, let me make sure I have some volume. Here we go. Micrófono ahora tan pronto como empiezo a hablar va a ser capaz de empezar a dictar. Este es un ejemplo interesante de cómo podemos dictar en un documento de Word sin tener que escribir. That's absolutely amazing that it's able to do that. But you can also have it be able to read in your English text that you have also. Man, I got to get it out of there. There we go. Microphone now as soon as I start beginning to talk it's going to be able to start dictating. There we are. So those are just a few of the features that we can use inside of Word to help us be able to bridge a little bit of the translation gap in our students. We have to remember nothing is as perfect as a real person but at least this could help us when we're in a pinch. Thanks for listening.